Hello there and welcome back to Peter's Gaming Channel. We have three more games for you in this uh, video. And that is Southampton away in the league. We have our first Europa League game of PSV. And we have the North London Derby. All coming up in this video. In the first half of September. If you've missed the first video, make sure you watch it. We've had one win, one draw, one loss. We're on four points. We're number 11 in the league. We need to get that up. So we need to win this match. We will be playing our second team. Very soon. Yes, we will be playing our second team very, very soon. Hello and a warm welcome to the South Coast. We find ourselves today at St. Mary's Stadium. St. Mary's Stadium and we need a win. We definitely need to win. We need to get up that table. And Coventry midfielder Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Southampton up against Arsenal. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And this is the Arsenal starting eleven. Thomas Partey starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch, and the centrepiece of the attack today is Gabriel Jesus. But a goal to update you on in the Wolves game. Alex Scott has the details. And it's a goal for Wolves. It's now 1-0 with six minutes played. The fans are in good spirits, Derek. Thanks as always, Alex. <laughs> well, you can probably see what we're focusing on this fellow. What on earth was that? Stuart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos. Oh, shit, what was that? One-nil, and they'll feel they deserve it. Well, as you can see, he just couldn't get enough on it. He'll be frustrated with that one. Well, the match has restarted. One-nil here. Gabriel. Now Zinchenko. Marcinelli. And still pressing. Oh, come on. from St. James's Park. There's been a goal there. That means we send it over to Alex Scott. And it's a goal for Newcastle United. It was an early cross into the box and it was a great headed finish. They've scored the opening up with 28 minutes on the clock. Alex with the info as ever. Gabriel. Alexander Zinchenko. Partey. Can they make one of these passes count? What? Uh, Arsenal had most of the possession, but most of their passing has been in deeper areas. Unless they start getting it into their front players with better quality, they'll struggle to turn this one around. Well, perhaps they can do something better with the ball now. Wow. Arsenal take advantage of this corner kick situation. And the goalkeeper really exuding confidence. And it's Gabriel Jesus. This could level it. Oh, what? With an important save. How important is that? Well, he should score from there. That's a wasted opportunity. Should... 
Back underway with Arsenal trying to find a route back into the match. And they know they need to stop him. Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw in. Strong but fair tackle. Or Prowse has eyes for goal. And that knows where Vieira is going to come on, and we're going to have Smith Rowe behind to try and create some chances. It's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Substitution, then let's see how it affects the match. Who's going to get on the end of it? And you've got to say, not the best of volleys that time. Yeah, it was certainly there to hit, but he just couldn't make the right contact. It was well wide in the end. Right, Alex Scott, over to you, because I hear there's been a goal at St. James's Park. It's a second goal for Manchester City. They're back in this now. Of course it is. Four minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Well, spot on with that challenge. Armstrong across there that was decidedly ordinary bodies forward and the break looks on well they seem to be onto something positive but it faded away nice and easy for the keeper White. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Southampton taking on Leicester City. That looks a really entertaining game. Two good teams with two. Come on, somebody go here for God's That's sake! And it's Gabriel Jesus. Oh and my god, what on earth is that? Pass to who I say to pass to. Just hearing something has happened at Molyneux. There's been a goal there, Alex Scott. Yeah, second one for Fulham. They've pulled one back and now trail by one with 76 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. He made it look simple, really. Well, that's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's putting in a really authoritative performance here. Yeah, he's certainly carved out plenty of chances. He's tested the keeper on numerous occasions, and he got his reward with that goal. Brilliant stuff from him. Jay Adams. Ward Prowse. El Yunusi. Determined defending. Well, they'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner. And time for the change now. Delivering it. And a relatively straightforward save for the keeper. Diallo. Ward Prowse. Armstrong. Really vital interception here. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Ward Prowse. God's sake. It's ridiculous. That's all you've got to say. A defeat for them. Your assessment. Assessment of this game is a bit shit so far. I'm going to skip the interview because I'm just going to get cross. Right, next time in this interview, it's time for the Europa League. And it looks okay. like we're going to have to win the Europa League to get back in the Champions League because we are doing shit in the league.
Okay, guys, we'll be wrap. Right, there's no break for the World Cup on this. So this is not slightly. This is slightly different to real life. Actually, now. I just missed out Everton. You know, it was Everton we meant to be playing that weekend, not Southampton, so I'm not sure what is going on with this game. Let's play the group game. It's time for the second team. Can the, can the second team do it? Plenty of nervous anticipation, but now it is for real. Match day one in the Europa League. Who will get off to a positive start with all three points? Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. We're at the home of Arsenal here in North London, and everything points to an exciting contest. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. We've got the first match of this group stage in the UEFA Europa League to bring you tonight. It's Arsenal against PSV. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to stop. Opportunity! Whoa! Let's go! Right now! Well, just look at the defending here. They've made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. 1 0. Eddie and Ketia, 1 0. And back underway. 1 0 it is. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. Nelson. Cedric. Oh. Good work from PSV to win it back. Good looking pass. Throw into Arsenal coming up. Nelson here's Cedric and Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position Nelson can he make it count oh oh that is really a goal wow such a difficult piece of skill which he made look so easy that deserved a goal wow that was so close Tomiyasu well timed tackle chance to attack using wit Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. It's a short one. The high press was very much on. Oh, fine stop. Let's see about the delivery. Well, the keeper wanted to take it cleanly and did. Smith Rowe. And on the back of that particular challenge. Yeah, that deserves a goal. You fuck him, yeah. And yellow it is. A booking. Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Well, the half time interval fast approaching. It's Arsenal with the lead. And a good point, I think, Stuart, to get your critique of their performance so far. 
Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They defended. Oh, wait, Stuart, they might. Oh, what was that? I said to shout. I said to fucking shout. And a sending off. And he was spot on with his challenge. Gakpo. And De Jong on the ball. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Does this game ever listen? Has a go. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Cedric. Can he take the chance? Yeah, let's go. Two now. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. They simply cannot stop I thought as much. No wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. Well, that's going to be all for the first half here at the home of Arsenal. And the second half begins in this Europa League group stage match day one contest. Oh, oh why is nobody following in? I'm delighted to say more Premier League action coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Arsenal facing Tottenham Hotspur. Yes, it's the North London Derby next on this video. That's in this video. Well, they have the ball once more. It looks promising. Firing it towards goal. Whoa. The bar is still reverberating. Oh, that would be straightforward for any keeper. Well, they won't come much closer than that. It's a matter of inches from being a really good goal. 30 minutes to go then. Luc de Jong. Now Gutierrez. A very timely interception. Kessia, and it might be. Couldn't quite hang on. Hey! Just what was required. That's very handy. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one. Because he just scored in her life. <laughs> to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. Lovely jubbly stuff in the Europa League because we are going to have to win this game, you know. So back with the action and Arsenal sprinting away with ease. Noni Madueke showing a lot of guile there perfectly positioned to take it away well as you can see Arsenal have had most of the ball they've passed it well their movement's been good and they've been well worth their lead could get even better here yes it might be on for them once more opportunity here Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Can they hit on the break? All hands on deck. And he takes it on. And up for grabs off the keeper. And there That's the keeper's bolt. At this stage of the proceedings, that's the keeper's fault. So back underway at 3 1. Luke de Jong. 
Madueke. Can he do it? Well, when you're trailing by a couple of goals, there's no margin for error. Well, you can't miss those sort of chances. That was their ticket back into the game. So two substitutes to come on in one go. Not giving him a moment's peace. Advantage, Arsenal. El Elneny. There will be one minute added on at the end. This looks promising out wide. Oh! So full time it is, and a morale boosting three points on the board to begin their European campaign. Whoa! Yeah, win now, Another win next time. Just a couple of questions for you. Thanks so much for your time, that's all. International offers coming, are they? Yeah, Joy Purple, how about renewing my contract? Um, all in good time, all in good time. Let's have a North London derby. Can we do it? Oh my god. Thank you for your patience. We'll start taking questions now. Do you well they shouldn't do they we have professional standards okay boys we have professional standards and this game you must win okay thanks guys let's play it Well, this is a derby in the English capital that always carries weight and substance. A rich history to draw upon. Stay tuned, we'll bring you all the action from North London as Arsenal face Spurs. We have just played this in real life and we won 3-1. No good game, good game. Two. So we need to win now. The Emirates, always something to look forward to. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by Stuart Robson. And Stuart, it's a fixture you know very well from your own playing days. Yeah, absolutely. I played in this game more than any other. And let's get it right. As you mentioned, these two clubs don't like each other. It's as simple as that. And there's a lot at stake today. Wants to attack from the wide areas. 
genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Good sight. One thing Tottenham know how to do is defend. That's been the case this season. Stuart, best record in the league. Can't argue with that. Well, I can only admire the work rate, the know-how, and the desire of their defensive structure. It's been brilliant this season, and I don't expect that to change today. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Thomas Partey starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And the focal point in attack is Gabriel Jesus. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's oh just my God, we really are under pressure if we lose there. this game. I... And over comes the corner. Oh, fantastic effort. He made great I'm not contact, sure what Saliba was trying to do there. To and he tried to score a bloody own goal. What are you doing? Taken short. Son. Can he put them in front? Oh, oh no, he's missed the opportunity. And they remain level. Well, he just lacked composure there, didn't he? They should be ahead now. William Saliba. Ben White. Thomas Partey. White, Farte, defensive Brazilians to shut them down, Emerson, what a play for a Spurs throw in, how about the cross, and blocked for now, Get up and get the ball. Possession back. What can they do from here? That's fine play to keep control of the ball. Party. Really good challenge. Some progress with the ball at his feet. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Well, there you have it. In terms of possession, there's not much in it. It really has been a hard fought battle so far. One of these teams needs to start taking a risk or two. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Gabriel couldn't hang on to the ball well, in terms of added time a minimum of one minute he might yet finish and thwarting his opponent in the nick of time Neil Neil God say Neil Neil God say to separate them as always interested to get your take on Spurs Need some more attacking, need some more attacking, I think. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Gabriel Jesus. Well, that's oh, for God's sake. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. All hands on deck. Bisuma. They could nudge in front. It's gone in. Fuck's sake! This is fucking ridiculous. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. Underway again, and Tottenham with the advantage. Zinchenko. Can he play it in? Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Fabio Vieira. Is it going to be? And it's 
Yeah, let's go. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. Nice goal indeed. We need more goals fresh. Fresh from goals. Let's bring on Enketia. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Davis coming off the pitch, number nine, Gabriel Jesus, to be replaced by Jung Min Son. Spurs trying to use space to good effect, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Oh, red, 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 I think it is. Yeah, bye bye. Put his team under a lot of pressure now. <laughs> Alexander Zinchenko. And he read it well defensively. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Well, it petered out. Just a quick reminder, we'll have action from the Carabao Cup coming up live here on EA TV. It's Arsenal facing Bristol City. Well, it's oh, that'll be the first video, first match of the next video. Oh, opportunity here, Stuart. And the ball is loose. Oh. For now, it seems. Well, the Arsenal fans are driving their team forward here. Just listen to this noise. They can sense a winner coming. Farsi. Saka. Only five minutes left for play, and tension galore with the teams locked together. Nkesia. Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! Well, it's great awareness of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. There we go, go. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. I told you he was right to bring get your on, Jesus, you need to. Hurry up. You need to. Oh, shit, shit, shit! <laughs> well, you're absolutely right, Derek. The keeper's done really well there. But really, that should have been the equaliser. And there's not long left now. Oh, God's sake. They brought the fucking keeper up. Not away completely. to come up with the ball. Oh, for fuck's sake! For fuck's sake! What a stupid fucking game! Oh, fuck off! Oh, fuck off! Oh, just fuck off. I'm getting really pissed off in this game now. It's not normal, it's not right. Can we just grab a minute of your time for a few questions?
Sorry, but no, I can't be happy with this day. They're fucking shit team. Fucking hell, man. Right, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully this game gets better. I'll see you in the next uh, video, which is the Carabao Cup. Thank you. Bye-bye.